today I'm going to be building a 16S 8P 60 volt battery for an electric scooter and an electric moped and I'm going to show you some tips on how to do this. First of all, these kind of batteries will be very big. I usually build them in a rectangle form like this because that has the best result. Of course they get kind of long and there aren't always that much space. I prefer building in these kind of holders because you get a very stable pack and there's also isolation between the cells making airflow in the whole battery pack very good for eventually heat spikes and stuff like that which is especially good when you're using this is gonna be for a 2000 watt 60 volt electric scooter so it's gonna be, be pushing some amps and as you can see I added the hot glue over here and that's because of these holders I've been buying holders for the same suppliers for several years I've been buying large quantities and somehow they decided to we're gonna make the holes in the holders a little bit bigger so I have to add hot glue to make them stick at least in the corners so that when I lift it up the cells actually stick so I can work with them without the whole pack falling apart and the reason for this is that Chinese batteries they are not as good at making compact 18650 cells so their 18650 cells are about well, like 1 to 3 percent larger in diameter and length than the standard 18650 cells so they need holders that are a little bit bigger or they will be too small for these cheap as Chinese cells. And of course when you buy something from China you know that there is something called quality fade. When they change the quality of the product after a while without telling you they will be selling it at the same specs, at the same diagrams, at the same images and they won't tell you that they upgraded the product. This is actually not quality fade anymore, this is something like quality change. They change the quality without telling you and they ship it out anyway and expect you to be happy with the updated bigger holders. Of course this is a problem for me. It's quite easy to fix. I just add a little bit of hot glue in here. It doesn't look as professional but it um, makes sure my battery pack is hold tight together. I've changed suppliers several times and they're, they're just so difficult because no one in China that manufactures these kind of holders are reliable. They will change the size and the diameters and the holes and everything like that. The reason I use, like the old style is because I could use 10 millimeter nickels over here. Now I have to use 8 millimeter nickels. I bought like 5 or 10 kilos of 10 millimeter nickel because I had so many holders I thought I was going to buy. So now I can't use the 10 millimeter nickel anymore because they won't fit in these slides. <sighs> However, I got the money back from this. I think about 8,000 or 10,000 of these holders and they said they were gonna ship the old kind mm, no they didn't do that i ordered 3p and 2p because that's the other ones that is needed to make almost all the uh, battery packs you don't need 1p so the 3p descent was good that was actually the old kind thank you very much for that but then the 2p do you know what they did it looks like a 2p that these were just one piece they put together like oh they didn't have the 2p in stock for some reason so they sent me the 1p instead and of course these are gonna be having different uh, width between these pixels you cannot trust anyone in china so i'm looking for another supplier of this and i but now i have a huge stock about 15 or 20 thousand of these holders that are gonna last me one year or so so there is no rush i have some of the better kind and i have some of the worst kind anyway back to building a 60 volt battery there you go I like to have my dovetails at one end up here and one here up here so that, that there are little protections when you add the soldering tabs over here for the BMS cables and as you might have already seen this, this is not a stable 16S battery pack this is actually made out of four modules now why the hell would I do four modules? well if you own a spot welder you know there's a limited set of rows you can do my spot welder can do three and a half of these rows so that is about 65 millimeters in but there are eight rows in here I usually turn the pack around and I can do the other three and a half but I will have a trouble doing good welds on these inner ones so I'm gonna have to build these in modular shapes so I'm gonna have to flip them so, so I can do three rows and three rows and then I'm gonna add a row when building high amp battery packs, I use these um, pre-cut pre nickel strips that are actually made for these kind of sellers and these are like 7mm so they work with almost all of these sellers. And I like to cut off one of these. Now I will, I, I will have a perfect connection. You see, these are not made for these holders, they're the um, 
spaces are actually too wide, but it works. I we're gonna have to use magnets to keep them in touch. I do like this and I would get uh, quite good spot welds. And then how I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna spot weld this one like this. And then I can insert the other one over here. So then I can spot weld here, you see three lines and I can turn it over and continue. And what I'm gonna do with this one, because I'm gonna build a more rectangular battery, I'm gonna flip it over. Like this. And you have a it's really nice rectangular box and these are actually almost identical these are like 16 centimeters 16 centimeters and the height is like 15 and now we're gonna add a BMS so this will actually be a very nice looking cube I'm gonna add a strip over here and a strip over here and then I'm gonna lay them on top of each other and I'm gonna solder these tabs together one of the reasons is when you're working with 60 volts you know that kind of kind of more than the standard 24 36 volt battery packs in it, if you touch uh, the nickel strips on each end, you will have 60 volt. And if it's over like 45 volts, the current and the voltage will go through your body. This is 60 volt is not dangerous, but you, you will not like that. That will tickle you and scare you quite a bit and you will most likely drop the battery pack. So dealing with these battery packs that are over 45 volts, it's a great idea to split them up at first and then connect to uh, 30 volt battery packs into a 60 volt battery packs and this is how I built large battery pack if this were just 7p I would stick to stick with them together and when you do a battery pack this big it's important to check the wells usually you do this by inspecting each of the wells and marking them with a blue pen for correct or you mark them with a red pen for missing or incorrect I inspected all of these wells marking them with a blue pen here is where the connections between the blocks are and I haven't done these two yet but essentially I'm gonna put this one over here before I put these blocks together I'm gonna inspect every one of these wells to see that they are actually present and this is also a good time to check your wells see if they loosen if you flex them they are pretty solid so let's start There you go, here I missed something. It's silly of me. Now you have to take this battery pack to the person who spot welded it and ask him to fix this. And in this case it was me, so I'm gonna have to fix this. But I would have built the whole battery pack and closed it and then I noticed there's something wrong. So one of the cell groups is not the same voltage as the other one, it's higher voltage. And then you have to open it up, find the cell blocks and that can take some time. So always use this method to inspect large batteries fixed you yeah, add a blue shake over there I think that looks good now we're gonna put these battery packs together now I'm gonna add a piece of plastic this is a special heat resistant plastic that has a very high melting temperature I have not been able to find out what the name of this plastic is I have several kilos of these plates removed from other battery packs so I will find something that's matching and since the negative and positive pole is gonna be on top of each other this is gonna stick out a little bit these soldering tabs they're gonna be opposite of each other so you don't need to have anything sticking out over here here we have the positive connection we're gonna make sure it doesn't short circuit to the negative underneath here. I'm gonna add a bit of plastic over here. Nice. Now we can solder all we want on this one. We won't damage the heat shrink tubing on the cells. Too. Excellent. And you do not want to add too much heat. Uh, this this one is only 160 degrees so it isn't that much but since you, you do not want to eat blobs you do not want to add blobs of heat unnecessarily so let's begin in this end. Let's just fill up these holes and it will have stronger adhesive bound. Fuck. What's the right way? This is actually a little bit flexible. So you, you don't need to add all the rows, but some of them. 
and you can see through the plastic that you actually made a good connection and here was my mistake. Like that, a few seconds, put your finger there and we'll do a last one. Now pulling this off will be quite hard. Lift it in the corner here. Here you can see the glue through it and that usually means it's not sticking to the plastic. You can add a little bit more here. That actually looks pretty good. And here you had positive and a negative on top of each other, which is not perfect, but it works. Now we're gonna glue this together and here we don't have any flexibility. So we're gonna have to glue it uh, in one piece. You can see where the previous glue was. And now I'm out of glue and you only have like five seconds. Five second rule, you know. Then if you're lucky, you can pull it in correctly. Not perfect, but great. And we can usually add some glue here between the cells. And then we're gonna have heat shrink tubing and tons of fun around this pack so you don't worry they will not fall apart. Now everything we need to do to make a 60 volt battery of 230